All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron, and we are on the patch 1.43 dev server. So, we're looking at the new Russian planes. They have five new planes. Um, nothing too crazy except for the one we'll cover last, the IL-28 jet bomber. Pretty excited for that. But we have an I-16 Type 5 sitting at a battle rating of 1.7. It's got two 7.62... Millimeter machine guns, the Shkaz, if you will. We've got the Yak-1 sitting at 2.0. Um, this one's got 120 millimeter cannon and two 7.62s. Then we have the Yak-9. Straight up Yak-9, 120 and 112.7 millimeter machine gun. So a little bit of heavier machine gun there. Battle rating 3.0. And finally, not finally, we have a premium P-47 Thunderbolt, you know, captured plane, lend lease, whatever it may be. Eight M2 Browning, 50 calibers of freedom on this bad boy, and sitting at 1,900 Eagles. And then last but not least is the IL-28, and we're going to take this bad boy out into an arcade battle and see what we can't find. All right, so we're in action, and let's take a look at the bomb loads. We have one 3,000 kilo bomb. I'm going to take that out. This is pretty big. It's the only bomb bigger than the game right now is the British 4,000 kilo, so this is going to be fun. And we have, let's see, we've got two offensive 23 millimeter cannons. That is pretty typical for most Soviet jets. And we'll go for armored targets. See, armored targets, it's... We'll go for air targets because the armored targets aren't ground vehicles. This isn't a ground and pound. And we'll go for the more advanced ones of those. Yeah, that should be fine. So the Ilyushin 28 jet bomber. Let's take it out. And let's see if it has a cockpit. First off, you may notice the pretty awesome rear gunner. Those are also two 23mm cannons. Let's take a look at that. Alright, we have no cockpit. Yeah. Hasn't been downloaded yet. Interesting. Pretty standard. So we don't have a cockpit. Um, I'm wondering if they're going to add them. I've actually not gotten that message before. And I, when I loaded the game up, there wasn't an option to download you know, or there wasn't an update I had to download. But I imagine they would want... Oh my gosh. Check this thing out. Is That's the bombardier, I guess. And that's the pilot. Because there's no cannons, unless he's also the gunner? Not really sure how that works. I did see an AI, so we're going to test out the NR-23. 23mm cannons that this bad boy has on some unsuspecting <laughs> B-17s. And we have an F-9F. Goodness. Sorry, we got backups. That's right, run away. Now, we're going to want to drop our 3,000 kilo bomb when we can. Oh, man, this is not looking good. <laughs> yeah, we're, we got a fire coming from the tail section. It's an issue. Let's see how good our... I'm just going to let the AI gunner go. He's definitely missing. But all we need is a couple 23s to connect, and we're pretty good. Now, we're going to go for the tank formation. And we'll watch that bomb go. Times five. It's pretty good right there. We definitely have some control issues. And this isn't really a jet fighter, even in arcade mode fully upgraded it is an issue um to turn don't you love it these 23s man that guy will not want to get close so this is like definitely a uh, much better than the Arado since you have some defensive armament especially since it's two 23 millimeter cannons no jets really going to want to get and stick onto your six o'clock because that's death it also has some offensive armament so that is pretty awesome as well and you can tell that this guy's got a pretty good area of effect. There's not really much dead zone when you get behind this thing. So this is actually adamant. I'm not really sure what that means. Has achieved adamant. 
Maybe I'm adamant about the fact that I do not wish to die. Oh, we're reloading. That's not good. Reloading still. He's adamant about attacking me. I think they're going that way. Oh man, that was a fail right there, ladies and gentlemen. See, I need to just take control of that. <laughs> but this thing's pretty sturdy. I, I'm, the panther may have been shooting stealth rounds. Probably was, because I didn't see a whole lot of other things going on. Um, we do have some serious issues back here. Both the rudder, tail section, and elevators are all pretty damaged. Bombs ready. Wow. Not very accurate there, so we're going to get around and put our 3,000 kilo. Oh. So that guy, the wolf man, was wondering, is this a stock IL-28? So I had to let him know it was not, in fact. But, tell you what, the AI gunners, at, they're fully upgraded, so they really weren't doing the job. <laughs> so, talking to my rival, let's see, go after some armored cars, pick to get an idea of where they're headed drop a 3,000 kilo bomb on them. oh yeah wow oversailed it considerably but since they're armored cars and that is a rather you know rather potent bomb we've, oh yeah I was gonna say we killed two planes but that's because one of them was an AI so what do I think of the IL-28 it's pretty fun Let's drop a 3,000 kilo on one of these uh, control points, bombing points rather, strategic bombing points, and see what it does. We've tried our hand at ground targets. It's pretty good at the AIs. I mean, it's a 3,000 kilo bomb. I'm really liking this. Of all the jet bombers, this has got to be my favorite because I like having the option of being able to go offensive um, with the two 23s in the front. As you can see, I'm going to strafe this triple-a and then we're gonna bomb a strategic target oh wow that was a little wonky right there it seems to be a little military compound we'll press you to watch it look at the sailing on that we're a jet bomber man nice now let's see how much damage wow so about pretty close to 75 percent of that strategic bombing point was taken out as a result. Now fully upgraded, this thing is a bomber, classified as a bomber, so the reload on the bombs are incredibly fast. Um, you know, fully upgraded, I think that was what, like 20 something seconds. So we'll go ahead and take this one out and maybe, just maybe, we could have one ready for the next all right, so if I aim at that first house, like just behind that first house, let's see how accurate the bomb is. Because I sailed right behind this little white one. Yeah, that's what I've been feeling is it definitely overshot. <laughs> Poor Wolfman. Like, I didn't even do that. My gunners just took him out. Oh my gosh, it's, it's rough. So we're going to cut throttle, try to cut this uh, jet engine fire here. Yeah, I love this jet. Alright, and pick it back up. The fire's not going out. We need to right ourselves so we can drop a bomb on this one. This guy's not going to be excited to find out that I have a backup IL-28. So, let's watch it. Oh, man. The same amount of damage? Alright. Consistency is key. So we're going to have to... Look at that. Fire's cut. This thing's a beast. You, this is not a jet bomber to screw with. <laughs> yeah, that guy's a little... Oh, look at that. Oh, man, we definitely can't turn very easily that way. Let's try to turn... Whoa. Death spiral. Death spiral. 
L that's interesting. Let's just watch this death spiral. Just tried to turn, and the thing just, just died. <laughs> uh, so, let's get back in there. Take out some more zones. Maybe shoot some more planes. We've already got two jets. Jet kills under our belt in the IL-28. Taking out the 3,000 kilo bomb again. Oh, and the enemy has lost all because... You know what? We're just too awesome is what's going on. But what do I think about this plane? It is amazing. I definitely plan on flying this out for sure. Because I like jet bombers. And unlike the Arado, this one has both offensive and defensive armament and a bomb that's just ridiculous. Let's, let's look at some of the other jet bombers. Because this one is probably the best. Speed, 865 kilometers per hour. Two offensive 23mm cannons, two defensive 23mm cannons in this rear-facing turret. And you can see how it's oriented in such a fashion that it can rotate and go up and down. So the basically, you are going to be able to cover almost your entire rear from that. And so the best way, obviously, would be to come in from the sides, but it's a jet. It's not a big, heavy bomber, like a B-17 or something like that where you're going to have ample opportunities to strafe it, you know, perpendicularly. So when looking at the Arado, I'm curious at the bomb load of the Arado. So we'll take a look at modifications. You can carry half the bomb load, 1,500 kilos of bombs, and your speed is less. The battle rating of an Arado is 6.7, and let's take a look at the Aleutian. 6.7 as well. Slap in the face, German jet bombers. Um, now we'll take a look at the Canberra. 6.7 as well. No offensive or defensive armament. They're gonna probably gonna want to change. Um, and it has 6,000 pounds of ordnance, so it's got an equivalent to the Russian, roughly. Um, but yeah, man, that IL-28 is a beast. And I'm going to be flying it for sure. So let me know. Do you think that... I mean, it's it's better in almost every area than... We'll take, we'll take a look at the British Canberra, which I'm pretty sure is a clone. But nevertheless, 865, 6.7 battle rating. Let's take a look at your bomb ordnance. 6,000 pounds of ordnance, so yeah, it's, the ordnance is the same, but no offensive or defensive, uh, even machine guns, there's no machine guns, not much less 23 millimeter cannons on the front and rear of that thing, so clearly, IL-28 is the best jet bomber in the game, the Japanese are, have some fighter bombers, which I've shown, um, or will show either way link in the video description and it'll be out on my channel when they're available so check them out the R2 Y2s but these are obviously more fighter bomber oriented they have small bombs which I believe is only 800 kilos yeah you can carry up to 800 kilos but you have four 30 millimeter cannons but this is a jet fighter you know this isn't like an Arado it's not like an IL-28 um, and the battle ratings of these are 7.0. Interestingly enough, I guess it's because with the offensive capabilities of this thing, it's definitely more fighter-oriented. But what do you think of the IL-28? Do you like it, and do you think the battle rating is a little too low? And do you think it's as awesome as I think it is? Because I'm a big fan. Anyway, my name is Baron. I thank you all for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on that like button. And if you're new here... Subscribe to the channel and check the video description below because I got links to other videos You should check out more dev server patch 1.43 all my social medias all that good stuff And I stream where we do some custom battles with friends So, you know, you're gonna want to check that out. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name is Baron. I'll catch you all next time